Yo, what it do guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking into a continued series of Warframe's evolving weapons called the Incarnates. If you missed the previous videos on the secondary pistol Latum or even the primary rifle Fenmore, I will add both of those guides within the video's description down below. Now that that's out of the way, let's have a little look into the next weapon in line, the melee weapon, the Prados. To know and start off with, to evolve the Prados, it will require a melee combo counter achievement. At the beginning, it's an increased combo counter art of just five. When you've reached this, you can ult fire or heavy attack the weapon and it will transmute into its final form. So let's now have a look into the evolutions of the weapon. Just before we do, on screen are the challenges that you will need to unlock to gain access to each stage of its evolutions. Stage one, evolution. As always, when unlocked, this will be the stage that allows you to transmute and evolve the weapon in a mission. There isn't much else going to say about this stage, it's a single choice selection. So let's move on. Stage 2 Evolution. Your choices are plus 50% slam radius, plus 20% attack speeds, plus 20% sprint speed and slide. This selection is a simple one to begin with. The increased slam radius can complete a slam related build, but in terms of slam builds, the damage isn't always that great to modify for. As for the sprint speed and slide increases, this isn't actually a bad choice if you're into speedrunning yourself and getting around quite quick. So this ultimately leaves me with selecting the middle choice for its increased attack speed. It's not a lot, but it's definitely something to help kick these stages off with. Stage 3 evolution, your choices are. For each enemy hit by your slam radius, gain 4 combo count. Plus 1.5 meter slide attack range. Plus 15 initial combo counter. These are all small amounts of utility showcase here. For slam builds, their damage tends to fall off quite quickly as mentioned before. Although at moments it can be enjoyable, it's probably not the best selection of choices here. For the increased slide attack range, it might be nice to some who enjoy the style. So if you do, please go ahead and take it. Or for other players like myself who was around back in the days of Maimon Strike and Adarak Spin to win meta, slide attacking isn't something that I enjoy anymore. So I will not be selecting this choice. I personally think that the initial combo counter increase isn't a bad choice. It allows for faster scaling for combo related mods and even builds. So for now, I'm going to select this choice. Stage 4 Evolution. Your choices are reach just a 3 times combo and heavy attack to transmute and evolve to your incarnate form, plus 30% parkour velocity, increase double jump strength by 100%. Parkour Velocity is a good choice for speedrunning related builds and the increased double jump could be a niche pick again for speed related builds. I also understand that this may be to help people in the new Void Flood missions with jumping to collect those balls in the air, but it really leaves me mostly with one choice and that's to evolve the weapon faster with the three times combo counter. So this is the choice I will be selecting. Stage five evolution, your choices are on slide kill plus 50% heavy attack efficiency for 30 seconds. Plus 100% heavy attack wind up speed. Collecting ammo grants a 5 melee combo counter. You can see some combos within the evolution stages, such as slide kill choice here, paired with the slide range increase from evolution 3 that we just went over. So if you do enjoy slide builds, then have at it and take the option. As for collecting ammo given melee combo counter, it would be a mod to possibly synergize or a choice to possibly synergize with primary or secondary weapons. That leaves us with a selection here that I think the weapon genuinely complements. Heavy attack wind up speed. And that will be my choice and all of my choices in general in which we will get to a build in a moment. I want to quickly address something and I want to make sure that this is crystal clear. I really do like the evolving Akarnan weapons and I believe them to be a thing of the future for Warframe. Massive compliments to the other two weapons. In hopes that DE takes criticism on the chin and improves, I think it's absolutely justified and fair to say that the Prados, unlike the Latum and the Fenmore, was done dirty in its evolution stages. The benefits they give feel held back in a way, almost scared to give the weapon a route to complement critical or status returns. Instead, we're mostly left with just one route to take for an endgame build of innate heavy attack slash box. That leaves me a little sad and disappointed to see it end this way, especially knowing that this was the final weapon to pick up from the three choices and all three stage five evolutions required all three weapons. So when we are considering these types of factors and we see these kind of stages for the Prados, it becomes a letdown after two very good weapons with very good evolution stages. 
I hope the Prados can be adjusted for the future, so here's fingers crossed for it. Now, I do believe that there's actually two more Incarnate weapons to be released soon, so if you guys genuinely enjoyed these types of videos where I showcase the stages, builds, and breakdowns, please leave a like here. Let's try and hit over 100, 200 likes right now. And let me know in the comments section some support or even some ideas that could help make the Prados better within its stages. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. With that being said, let's now have a quick look into the build for Prados. Due to the complementary evolution choices for melee heavy attack, we are going to focus on a heavy attack build with innate slash procs and scaling procs as much as we can. Kicking it off with damage base increase as always, make sure that you increase your base damage as much as possible. There isn't much else going to say there. Heavy attack mods. Corrupt charge mod for the initial combo count and to recall that we also used initial combo count within its evolution. This bumped our combo count up to times three. Now when you pair those two factors with the evolution that gives us a straight times three combo as well, this means that we can always evolve our weapon right at the very beginning of the mission straight away. No build up needed. Critical mods in general, things like critical chance, critical damage, these are going to increase to help slash procs deal more damage significantly. So please whack those in as soon as you can. Utility mods such as Prime Reach or just Reach in general will always be a good shout to help clear hordes and waves of enemies. Do keep in mind, unfortunately, the weapon has a statistic on the left hand side called follow through. This basically means that it loses damage when hitting multiple enemies. It's not the end of the world. This weapon can still typically one shot a level 200 enemy and even a group of them stacked together. Faction mods will always be the MVP when it comes to double dipping. Slash procs getting double the proc, therefore double the damage. Definitely, definitely throw these in here. It's a night and day difference. Cheeky elemental mods go ahead and round off the builds. It allows for the build to factor in and multiply by the elemental damage wherever it can. Usually I would go and use a prime fever strike just because I have higher percentile or you could use a 90% elemental mod wherever you want to go and throw in here. It works out completely fine. So there we have it guys, a Prados breakdown. As mentioned before, we are aware that there will be more weapons being released down the line. So I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video and maybe learned a thing or two about the weapon. Let me know your thoughts on how you found the Prados. And if you'd like to see more like this, then please go and hit that like button. As I said, 100, 200 likes would be absolutely amazing to aim for and please share the video with a friends if you're new to the channel come join us more often by subscribing as always guys i'll be seeing you guys again in the next video